Hi, this is David, and I'm here today with a odd concept, because that's mostly what I deal with, <laughs> in one form or another. Uh, please forgive the birds in the background, they're just kind of a fact of life around here. <laughs> now, today I'm starting a series called Seven Magical Rocks. And I'm going to take seven ordinary rocks and solve seven problems in the world. And I got this concept from a couple things. One is the old, st old so stone soup story, if you're familiar with it. It's this guy who wanders into a town that is down on its luck. Everybody's poor and starving. And he goes around asking for food. Nobody gives him food. So he says, well, you know, all of you people are starving, so I'm going to help you out. I'm going to make stone soup. And he got somebody to loan him a kettle. He filled it with water, put the stone in, and started stirring it and heating it up. And he's like, mmm, it smells pretty good. He says, you know what would make it better is some onions. And somebody said, well, you know, I've, I've got a couple onions. So he took the onions, he put them in the pot. Said, yeah, that is that is better. Mmm, it's really coming along. And you know what would be better? But does anybody have some oregano? And they just kept on adding stuff to the soup and adding stuff to the soup. And people chipped in. And eventually, all these starving people had a big bowl of soup. <laughs> so they took this huge pot of soup and they were passing it out to the villagers who had all previously been starving because they were just sitting there with their individual ingredients and just miserable. And now everybody had tasty soup and they were eating it and everybody was happy. And he goes up for his portion and they say, well, you didn't put anything in. Why should you have soup? And he says, well, I put in the rock. So that's always stuck with me. And uh, another thing that has kind of crossed my brain in the same sort of way is there have been uh, like radio shows and people who have gone out and decided to take something silly like a golf ball and do a series of barter exchanges until they had something really substantive like a school bus or some other huge object that they want to, tra want to transfer to. So I'm going to kind of combine these two concepts, and I'm going to take it even bigger. And this is uh, kind of silly in another level because my YouTube subscription is super low. <laughs> so the chance of this succeeding is, you know, pretty small, but I got nothing but time. So we're going to start this out and get the ball rolling on seven different magical rocks to solve problems in the world. And we're going to start a series of trades. This is rock number one. It's got a little ledge there. So I'm calling this rock the stepping stone. <laughs> and what we're going to do with this rock is we are going to try to conduct a extended series of trades for this basically valueless object and turn it into real change in people's lives. So we are going to take this and through a probably very extended series of trades, turn this into enough resources to start a remedial education organization in the inner city. Uh, it is not going to be that cheap, but it won't be as expensive as you might think because I've got some innovative ideas that I'd like to throw around and I think might help. So we are going to take this and with this rock we are going to attempt to solve the problem of the decrepit failing inner city schools in America. So if you're interested you can go to our first video describing what the first trade is and if you'd like, you can trade. If you'd like to help out, you can subscribe or share the video. Or if you've got somebody who might be interested, you can get them direct them to the video and so forth. Um, along with each trade in this entire process, there will be also be a little parchment certificate that says you are part of this process and here's the trade you made. And if it ever comes to fruition, it gives you bragging rights, which are worth something, even though this rock is not. So, let's get started. This is the stepping stone to help to elevate people 
out of their misery in the inner cities to help them get an education. Thanks. This is the Discount Dragon, Magic Stone number one.